Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are God. You are a faithful God who will not change. We want to celebrate your awesome power and whom you are in our lives. Lord, we celebrate you because your name is Yahweh. You are glorious, you are awesome, and you are mighty. Lord, tonight, we ask, Lord, in your power that you touch us. Minister your word tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, 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 Jesus name. So the glory of God is our night of reconciliation. And this is our weekend vigil. This will be happening every Friday. And the theme for this, the Bible passage for this is Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27. This word is very, very important. And this word, I want you to understand something about this word. It's going to make something different from you. It's going to do something miraculous in you. This word is going to, I want you to start reading it from your heart. Anywhere you are, start reading this word. Start reading this word. Anywhere you are. Because something great is going to happen. Something glorious is going to happen. Something mighty is going to happen in your life. So don't forget that the Lord is set to bless you. The Lord is set to make something great about you. His hands, His grace, His favor will be with you for the rest of your life. So God is set because it's all about His good pleasure. It's all about His mighty act. It's all about his glorious works to make all things new, make all things beautiful about your life, make all things right about your life. I want you to read this word. I want you to go ahead with it. This is the word that will bless you. I want us to read it together very loud sound and clear. One to go. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27 says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is, and I will give it him. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you the right tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. That peculiar thing, that special right that your life is waiting for. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will give it to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, wonderful Jehovah. I want to quickly, before I go ahead, before we go into the time of Thanksgiving. I want to read uh, the testimonies for uh, the last program. So wonderful that you know. I want to read this testimony before we go ahead. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. This one is from Nigeria. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for the prayers, your prayers. The pains and frequent pending stop on the Thursday. Though I started running temperature, but God be the glory. Uh, the Lord settled through your prayers when you pray for me after the vigil. That was our ninth, three ninth of uh, prayer investigation. I am strong. I'm sound today. I bless the name of the Lord. Thank you so much. She called me and she told me about serious pain in her body. And I pray for her. And I say, she should join the vigil. She actually joined that vigil. God bless you, daughter. In the name of Jesus, your testimony is the one in line in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to say, good morning, daddy. How are you? Indeed, there is power in prayer. I have enjoyed fellowshipping with the Lord for the past few days. Now, starting from Saturday last week, that was that time of our prayer investigation. And I do fasting. The Lord helped me. What I'm looking for, the Lord did it for me. Another one say, thank you, sir. After you prayed for the last prayer, uh, prayer of investigation, I was blessed. I've been open on somebody to call me so can get the materials. Even in this pandemic season of lockdown, God is just blessing me due to that prayer. God has been blessing me. I'm just, I'm even getting above my salary because people are connecting to my job. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. This one is from Zambia. A God answer prayers by fire. You remember that? The man I told you about his name, I will not mention the name. Indeed, God is good. A lot has been happening through this month. I found a lot of things concerning him. But the Lord Almighty said to my life, the Lord gave me testimony that I will never forget. 
the Lord answer prayers, and indeed Christ is the revealer of the secret. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I have a lot of testimony, but it will be coming. Please, if you have your own testimony too, I want you to also join. I've shared a testimony on my broadcast about somebody that after this prayer, the Lord revealed deep secret to her where her problem is. She ran away from God because the devil wanted her to run away. But before you know it, the Lord returned her back to himself. This is a great testimony. Your own testimony will also join in the name of Jesus Christ. This is part of what God wants to do. Don't forget that it's a month of what? As many people that join up, month of what? It's a month of recovery. And I want you to know that the Lord said to David that David should recover her. But you, in your own way, the Lord Almighty will make you to recover everything that you have lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Our anchor scripture, in case you did not join us in the morning for the first service, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8b, and it said, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover her. Say, I pursue, I overtake, and I recover her. Can I hear you say, I pursue, I overtake, and I recover her. So in our season of recovery, a lot of things the Lord will do for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is our night of reconciliation. And this will be happening every Friday by the grace of God. Okay, the Lord promised this in our heart to, to end this season of pandemic. And we continue with this. We are going to be meeting together every Friday. But one thing I want you to do is to reach out to your family members, reach out to your friends, reach out to everyone that you know that God is doing the miraculous. It shall be well with you. Let's go into the time of Thanksgiving. I want you to sing this song. I want to teach you. I will praise you, oh my Savior. Say after me. I will praise you, oh my Savior. That is good. Say, I will praise you, oh my Savior. Say, I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. Now, I want us to clap our hands. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. Hallelujah. I will praise you, oh my Savior. Praise the Lord. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you forever. I will praise you. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. Say amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That the things of thanksgiving, the Lord will do it for you in the name of Jesus. Can you pick a song in your heart and start singing that song unto the Lord? For his faithfulness, for his love, for his kindness over you. Love the Lord through your song. Over your family members, love the Lord through your song. Over everything that you have, love the Lord through your song. And say, Lord, you are the only one who change not. The Lord who will not change his standard. Can you just love him? Can you praise him tonight? Can you love him tonight? Can you say, Lord, I love you for your faithfulness. Indeed, you are God in my life. You are wonderful. Pick a song. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are what the whole Lord. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Give him a praise, give him a praise, give him a praise, give him a praise. Love him for seeing the first day. Now this is the second day in this month of May. Don't forget it's all about the mercies of God. It's all about the rights of God. It's all about the favor of God. There is something that God is doing concerning your life. That God is going to make to work in you. Can you just love him? Love him. Give him praise. In Jesus name we pray. Psalm 25 verse 1 says. Unto thee O Lord. Do I lift up my soul. Psalm 25 verse 1. Lead me in thy truth. 
and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. Take note of this word. On thee do I wait all day. We have been waiting to see something great today. We have been waiting to see the goodness of God today. And we have been waiting to receive something from the Lord today. So I want you to know that your waiting will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 81 verse 1 to 3. The book of Psalm 81 verse 1 to 3 says, Sing aloud unto God our strength. Take note of this word. You must sing aloud to God your strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Anywhere you are, can you make that joyful noise unto your maker? Make a joyful noise unto him. Sing aloud unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Love him with the voice of triumph. Now verse 2 says, Take a psalm and bring either the chambre, the, pre the pleasant harp with a palm string. And verse 3 say, blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Oh my God. In the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Today is our solemn feast day. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. That the power of God will search you out. You are singing this song with a loud voice. I can see some people expressing it with love. I can see some people singing that song with love. Even as they are documenting it down. I pray in the name of Jesus that the things of singing will not end in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord asked me, a lot of people will lose their job. My wife was praying for somebody today, one of our daughters. She said, she worked in banking industry. He said she will not lose her job. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. For everyone watching online, that job that is feeding you, that job that is giving you bread, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not lose that job. Amen. Oh my God, I want your amen to shout it. I say you will not lose your job. Amen. Now, if you are out of job already, the Lord will secure you. Amen. He will give you a better job. Amen. He will position you aright. He will do his will in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, topic is, Oh Lord, arise. Hallelujah. I want you to know, that the power of God will arise for you. Amen. Oh my God. I said the spirit of God will arise for you. Amen. Right of God will arise for you. Amen. Interest of God will arise for you. Amen. Favor of God will arise for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't forget Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1a. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1a says. I will stand up upon my watch. I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower. And we watch to see what it will say unto me. Let's read it together so you can understand. Is that okay? I want us to read it together. Very loud, son of Want to go? I will stand upon my watch. Uh -huh. And set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what it will say unto me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Take note of this word. That is part A we are doing. So one thing you need to know. The Lord is saying. That is for you tonight. So all you need to do. You are watching. Because this is the watch night. Every time you engage in a vigil as is. You are watching. So it's the watch night. And I want you to understand. That God will not fail you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know God will always arise for people. In Psalm 102 verse 19 to 21. Psalm 102 verse 19 to 21. The Bible says, For he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary from heaven did the Lord behold the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner. You are not a prisoner by birth. You are not a prisoner, but sometimes you are prisoner by circumstances. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 102 verse 19 Okay, so he, he's saying that to well, verse 20 now. He said to hear the groaning of the prisoner. So this is the word of the law. So every form of prison like in your life, I command in the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. Amen. And he said to lose those that are appointed to death. Is there any signal of death in your life? Is there any right of death in your life? 
Is there any statement of death in your life? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will lose that from you in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know that thing that is among to death. Either spiritual debt, physical debt, academic debt, financial debt, any form of death in your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not die. Can you announce to yourself, say, I will not die. In the name of Jesus, verse 21 says, So declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. Oh my God. So declare the name of God where? To declare the name of God where? I want to hear you from Zion, in Zion. And his praise from where? I want you to note. There is nothing that advertise your God and your results. It is only your good result that can advertise your God. So hear this. You can speak yourself into a worthy life. And hear this through the prayer and the result will come. So I want you to know, people must see the result of your God in you before they believe you. If they don't see the sign and wonder, they will not believe you. You hear me very well. Let me tell you this. There are lots of people that speak on the ground. But if they don't see the visual of what they are saying, many people might not believe them. They might not know they are able to do it. But I want you to know today that people will see your God. And God will arise on your matter in the name of Jesus. The Lord is bringing out solution provider from you. Oh my God. Document it down. Document it down. Document it down. Say my God is bringing out solution provider from me. I love that. I love that. I want that person to say it. Fadi question. I want you to say it. Say my God is bringing out solution provider for me. My God is bringing out solution provider for me. You know why? God is going to do something great in your life. No matter what people think, it's going to happen. You are a solution provider for your family. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, people might look down on you. The situation might be as if it's not going to work. But the Lord will arise on you. The Lord will make you that solution provider. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 says, See. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. He says, See. I have this day said thee over the nation. And over the kingdoms to root out. Say amen. amen. Am I describing you already? Yes, there is a will of God. To root out. Say amen. amen. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. And to put that. Say amen. amen. And to destroy. Say amen. amen. And to throw that. Say amen. amen. To build. Say amen. amen. And to plant. Can I hear you shout? I'm going to root out. I'm going to put down. I'm going to destroy things. I'm going to throw down things. I'm going to build up things. I am going to plant things. This is the will of God for you this month. And from this month, you are entering into a level that nobody in your family has ever entered into. This month is going to be a month that you have been waiting for. And I say, Lord, so you have done it before. You can also do it again. I want you to see after me again. Say, I'm a solution provider. To everything that is not working right around me. I'm going to provide solution to your maker. There is no how. Your maker is always strong. Your maker is always the best. And he will do it for you. In the name of Jesus. I want to ask you some questions here. Are you waiting for a specific answer or solution from the Lord? Then wait very well. When you are sleeping tonight, the Lord will show you that revelation. And that secret of that thing will be revealed to you. Number two. Are you waiting on him just to get direction on any matter? Then tonight is your night. Don't forget, Joseph was a prisoner. But here it is, his possession was among the nobles. Until the Lord arose on his matter. Genesis chapter 41 verse 41 downward. Before leprous men were in serious pains of hunger. And their solution was in the territory of the nation terrorizing their own city. Until the Lord arose on their matter. 2nd King chapter 7 verse 3 to 18. Lehman was in pain of leprosy. And his healing was in the land. That he earliest point. Hey, 2nd King chapter 5 verse 51. 2nd King chapter 5 verse 1 to 14. It does not matter where your solution could be found. It does not matter where you are right now. What matter is the will of God and the interest of God over your life? 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus authoritatively. The Lord will arise on you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to declare, say, Oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, arise on my matter. Your situation might be as if nothing good is happening. It does not matter if the one men are saying is what you are seeing concerning your life. But what matter must be the interest of God? You are going to declare, say, Oh Lord, my Father. Is there any condition you want to report to God? You must report to God tonight. Say in the name of Jesus. Concerning my situation. As I'm clapping my hands. Oh Lord my Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, arise by fire. 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 Aha. As you are singing that prayer. The Lord will reveal himself to you. As you are singing that prayer. The Lord will make himself known to you. As you are singing that prayer, the Lord will do something great in your life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. There is something that belongs to you that you must get before the daybreak. Before the daybreak, you must get them. Are you watching? Are you listening? You must get them. You must hold the best part of God. And you get them right. Number two, nobody must claim it if it is not you. Number three, you can only lay claim on it in the place of prayer before getting it in the realm of the physical. There are some things you must ask God in the place of prayer before you get them in the realm of the physical. Is that okay? That has been placed on so many destinies that the Lord must remove tonight. There are lots of people managing life. They should have, have the full use of their life. Nothing good works for them. They have been praying but without any proof of answer prayers in their life. Number eight. It's as if they are not competent of living a better life. You see a lot of people, it's as if they are not competent of living a better life. I pray for you tonight. And I pray for myself. That competency of living a better life. Can I want to hear you shout amen. Let it flow into your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody is watching. When you are in a place, a spirit will be telling you, go, go, leave, 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 leave. There is a spirit. You need to rebook that spirit tonight. That is anti-progress. That did not want you to progress. And you have tested it. It's not just working out for you. I pray for you. You just, you lost a job of a reason. Because that spirit is telling you that. You will not hear that language again in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you shout later? Amen. Now there are a lot of people that have been sorrowful. as seen in the pain of that sorrow. People who know them are telling them that they are working hard, but there is no proof of their hard work. They are brilliant, but not successful. They are giving platform to display their talent. But the spirit of limitation has made them to frustrate the platforms. Until your God arises, your Goliath will still be speaking to be your Lord over you. He came to the Israelites and David said, look at you. You are just a small dwarf. You will die. He was not considering the height of Goliath. Or the potency of him. Or the voice of Goliath as a giant. But he looked at him and said, I will kill you. And he looked at David and said, you? Send this one away. But there is something he carried. There is a position in life that God is going to give you your desire power. And don't think that is great in your life. Don't forget until when your God arrives, poverty will still occupy the place of your riches. That situation we dealing with you. We permit people to look down on you and begin to say, that is the hand you can do. When they rubbish you completely, that is the hand you can do. You are going to pray, say, oh Lord my father, in the name of Jesus, concerning this matter, do you have any matter you want to report to God? Say, oh Lord my father, in the name of Jesus, concerning this matter, Oh yeah, arise. Now, I will give you space to write it down. You may have a pen. You may have something to write that condition. That is not so pleasant to your life. And you want to report it to God. You want God to settle it for you. You want God to make it work for you. It's a nine to take back what belongs to you. And bringing things to where it belongs. This is a night of recovery and a night of restoration. Isaiah 42 verse 22 says, But these people... This is a people robbed and spoiled. And he said that,
They are all of them snare. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. They are robber. They are spoiler. And they are like being in the holes. But the word of the Lord said they are in the prison houses. Hey. And they are for prey and not say delivery. For a spoil. There is no one say restore. The Lord is set to restore you tonight. Jesus must arise on that matter. Have you written down that matter? Say, oh Lord my father. In the name of Jesus. Concerning this matter. Arise tonight. 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 Say amen. God must arise for you. If you are that person that when you are almost getting it, something will just happen to pull you out. When you are almost getting there, situation will turn to unbearable situation and be thrown into confusion. If you are that person, when you see your promised land ahead, a spirit will tell you this is the length you can go. Go back. God must arise. You have engaged in so many relationships, but no one is working right now. Oh my God. You have invested so much on that business, but nothing is working right now. You have been counting money, but now you cannot count anything. Men and women that used to celebrate you now are now looking down on you. You have invested so much on so many things, but nothing to show for it. Oh my God. After you have met with that strange lady, that lady took away every of your resources, every of your plans, shattered everything that your family is supposed to enjoy. Oh, I want that woman to stand up. You are sleeping. You are sleeping. You have been accusing your husband for dating ladies. And there is a particular lady that is dealing with your husband finance. This is the reason things seem not, not working. The business is not working. The life is not working. You are going to pray. Everyone you fall into this category. Can you just take a step and you move a little step and you as if you are going to the altar and you are going to declare. Say, oh Lord in your power. In the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. Concerning this matter, I rise by fire, I rise by fire, I rise by fire, I rise by fire. Aha. Are you saying it? Let God arise in the name of Jesus. Mama, mama, so to pull you, but so to play Aha, 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Let's go back to that Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Very important scripture. God wants to do something miraculous. God wants to give you something special. I don't know for how many years you have been spoiled and you have been robbed. You want to read it? I want you to read it from your heart. Read that scripture from your heart. This is the will of God. Say, but this is a people. God wants to deliver you. Robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snare in O's, not in one O, in O's. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for prey and not say deliverance. The Lord will deliver you tonight. Oh my God, Elin Ojugo, the Lord will deliver you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now, this is the best time you need Jesus than ever. There are a lot of people under the order of satanic arrest and attacks. That the Lord must arise on their matter today. Please, we're going to pray after now. No matter how influential you are, if the gate of hell is open against you, you cannot survive it until the Lord arise on your matter. There are a lot of things that belong to you but are in the hands of other men. You will, you will allow God to fight for you and take them back for you. If your life is not yet yielding a best result, God must arise on your matter. You have stayed on that matter for too long. This is the time for God to arise. Is that okay? You are going to declare. You are going to declare this song. When I say, let my God arise, say, let my God arise. When I repeat again, let my God arise, say, let my God arise. I want you to document it down. When I say document it down, comment it. Come and help me. They are waiting for my reproach. Oh, let my God arise. Now let's say it. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Aha. Oh yeah. Is your Where is your dance? Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Oh yeah. Come and help me. They are waiting for my reproach. Oh, let my God arise. Can we ask it now? When I say let my God arise, say let my God arise. And say come and help me. 
They are waiting for my reproach. Let my God arise. Are you ready for that? Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Come and help me. Come and help. They are waiting for my reproach. Waiting for my reproach. Oh, let my God arise. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Aha. Clap your hands. Sing. The Lord must arise. Oh. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Come and help me. Come my. They are waiting for my reproach. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Oh. Come and help me. Come and help me. They are waiting for my reproach. Yo. Let my God arise. Amen. It is time for demonstration. When I say, let my God arise. Come and help me. They are waiting for my reproach. For you to be bound. They are waiting for your limitation. They are waiting for your pains. They are waiting for the time you come and begin to beg people to help you. But when God help you tonight, something great will happen. When God help you tonight, your marriage will work. When God help you tonight, your business will work. When God help you tonight, your career will work. You have been trying to establish a particular business, but there is a force that is saying you can never establish it. They say, we have been dealing with you for years. Why do you want to establish something that will make your name to be global? You are going to sing this song. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. You demonstrate it now. Let my God arise. Let my God arise. Come and help me. Come and help. They are waiting for my reproach. They are waiting for my reproach. Oh, let my God arise. 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 Come and help me. Come and help me. They are waiting for my reproach. Let my God arise. I pray for you today. Concerning that situation, God will arise. Oh my God. And every enemy will scatter. In the name of Jesus. Take note of this. In the school of discovery, there must be recovery. And in the school of recovery, there must be contending. In the school of contending, there must be confrontation. And in the school of confrontation, the leader must surely emerge. I pray for you today. You are the leader. And there is no force of wickedness that will turn you down. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you tonight. This night will bring for you the best result your life is waiting for. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. Can we read it again? Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. I want you to read it anywhere you are. You speak the word of liberation to it. Is that okay? Let that voice of liberation come to it. Say Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 says, Then the Lord put forth his hand. When the hand of God touched your mouth. Hey! You are made for it. Say the Lord put forth his hand. And touch my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. I pray today. Okay, say this. Say my mouth. Hear the word of God. Speak the right word to my destiny. Hear this. Until when you speak it, you may not get it. God is not just anointing your mouth for nothing. He has anointed your mouth for something great. And it's going to give you something great that will make your life super. It's going to give you something great that will make your life better. Say my mouth. Speak the best word that will decorate my destiny. Say my mouth. In the name of Jesus. And it can woo me. There is somebody watching me. Please, I want everyone to be attentive right now. They use particular roots and leaves. It's like a woman like a woman, like a stepmother, kind of. Uses that root and live together. They grind it together. When you are together, they use it to cook only for you. That soup were used for three days on you. Nobody ate in the family and you didn't know. 
But hear the word of God. The Lord Almighty will purge it out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. You're supposed to have died before now and you know. But the will of the Lord said, under the security that he kept you, that's why you abide forever. That's why you did not die. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. That thing you have eaten several years ago, that is standing as a problem of your life now. Kapali mosu katali ande hiko kusutu. Lengkli iza palu kazete. Izanza kita pori baskupolinda ya. The Lord will purge it out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I said the Lord will purge it out of your body in the name of Jesus. Now the word of God in your mouth this month will bring the best result for you. He put the uh, he put his word in your mouth. He touched your mouth and he put his word. That word will speak for you. I said that word will speak for you. I said that word will speak for you. It is time to go to God right now. You are going to report that case to God. It's as if life is not giving you the best. It's as if you are not enjoying the totality of God anymore. It's as if that your case is turning to be reproached. It's as if destiny is not yielding best increase for you. You are going to report the case to God. I will come what to man where each time you talk, something that will help you, there is a particular ear listening to you and report to case to your spoilers. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Every power, the interest, and the right of spoilers over your life, the Lord will destroy them. That ears that is attached to your world, the house you are living. You know, there is no secret about you in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, by his word today, the power of God that we give, okay, 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 the Lord said to me that that house needs fire. That house needs fire. That house needs fire. We are going to sing this song. It's a fire of God. Fall upon me. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God. Fall upon me. Say fire of God. Fall upon me. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God, fall upon me. We are going to turn into something. Fire of God, fall upon me. Say after me. Say it again. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God, fall upon me. Do you need fire of God? Before you can do anything and you do it right, you need the fire of God. And we are going to declare. Say, fire of God, fall upon me. Fire of God, fall upon me. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God, fall upon me. Oh, yeah. Fall upon me. Aha. Fire of God, fall upon me. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God. Sing it again. Fire of God, fall upon me. Fire of God, fall upon me. Let my trouble vanish away. Fire of God, fall upon me. Fire of God. We are fire of God. We are fire of God. Fall upon me. 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 Let it fall. Let it fall. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Aha. Aha. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Aha. Maria Paliaba Sapara Raba Sekere Bojada. The Lord is visiting you right now. He's visiting your foundation. The Lord is touching you right now. Fire, 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 fire. Aha! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Aha! This is the Bible power, power, prayer. Aha! 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 Fire! 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 Say amen. You are going to sing this. And when I say, Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. Say, I need deliverance. I want you to sing it. It's a night of deliverance. For God to arise on your matter. Some things must let you be. And the Lord must touch your life. Is that okay? The word of the Lord say that your redeemer is strong. That your strong redeemer must attend to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? So this is the will of God for your life. You are going to sing. It's a fire of God. My life is available. Touch my life. Say amen. 
When I say, Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. You say after me, say, I need deliverance. Is that okay? That is the song we are going to sing. Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. 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 Aha. Oh yeah, I need deliverance. Let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 That strange personality living in you. That is not of God. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. See it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I need deliverance. You will see how God will conduct deliverance on you when you are sleeping tonight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I need deliverance. 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 Say, I need deliverance. Say it. Uh huh. In Jesus' name, we pray. I command the name of Jesus anywhere you are. I want seriousness. I want everybody. You stand up in your house. You sing this song. Nobody should sit down anywhere you are. Nobody should sit down in the house anywhere you are. Say, Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. In the name of Jesus, do not allow the technology of phone to take you off. Because this is a time of deliverance. You cannot be requesting for the deliverance of God and you are just in lackadaisic attitude. You are going to tell God, say, Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. In the name of Jesus. When I say, Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. You will re respond by saying, I need what? Deliverance. Holy Ghost, I need 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 deliverance. Oh yeah, I need deliverance. Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. Holy Ghost, I need deliverance. Oh yeah, I need deliverance. I need deliverance. I deliverance of God. Aha! 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 Oh in the name of Jesus Christ. Aha. 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 Today is the first Saturday. You begin to speak to the womb of this month. Let this man give to you a silent word God. What the heaven is writing concerning you. Aha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In Jesus name we pray. I said earlier on. The Lord delivered Joseph. And he brought him out of where he's been locked up to. To where his destiny is being attached to. There is difference between being in a place that God has designed for you. And go to a place where God said you should be. So a lot of people are out of the original. They are living fake life. I don't know for how long you have been in that condition that you suddenly find yourself. The Lord Almighty will bring you out in the name of Jesus Christ. There are particular solutions you need that will make your voice light, larger. There are particular solutions you need that will bring for you the best of God. There are solutions you need that will cause your total deliverance with your several loud amen. I pray. Why are you receiving now? Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, say glory. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. The book of Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4 says, Therefore, the law is slack. And judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked does compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. I pray for you today. Take note of this word. He said the law is slack. Every slackness of the law will bring wrong judgment. Take note of this. Every slackness of the law will bring wrong fadid. Every slackness of the law will make things not to work the way it's supposed to work. Every slackness of the world will make wrong things to come over your life. Remember Mephibosheth in 2 Samuel chapter 9. The law was against his life. It was supposed to be in the palace. But his enemy threw him back to where his destiny is not supposed to be. 
Royal destiny moving around in the place where nothing could happen. Royal destiny moving around in the place where nothing could happen. I pray for you today and I pray for myself. That particular place where the Lord has ordained for us, we will enter there. I say we will enter there. So that place, that befitting place that the Lord has designed for your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will take you there. Now, every wrong judgment, every wrong loss that is being proceeded into your life. And you have been saying, when am I going to be free from this situation? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord can see it for you. Grace of God can see it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to declare say, every wrong judgment. Speaking against my life. Say hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Say amen. Don't forget that Mephibosheth was not praying for remembrance. He has settled into the life of setback and backwardness. Until the Lord used David to readjust his life. God is the adjuster. When things seem not working the way it should, the Lord will send somebody into your life. But here it is. There must be a better encounter before this time. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that the Lord will send encourager to you. The prayer you have prayed tonight, the people of this world will see the evidence of this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Grain to make room for the new harvest. Hey! Let's look, let look for King James Version now. Let's look for King James Version now. Very important. This word is important. I want to leave you with this word. Leviticus 26 verse 9 and 10. I want to leave you with this word. Because what God is saying. He said, it will look favorably upon you. It will favor you. That is number one. And number two, it will fulfill his covenant in your life. This is another one. The covenant of God. He said, I will look favorably upon you. I will make you fertile and multiply your people. And I will fulfill my covenant with you. This is the NSC. Fulfill my covenant with you. This is the will of God. This is the power of God. This is what God is saying. So, he's saying that favorably. That means I'm going to favor you. Today the second day in this month. So, favor of God is coming your way. Number two, the Lord will make your land that is not fertile to be fertile. Amen. To that barren womb, your womb will be fertile. To so that man with, with, with very watery spermatozoa, the Lord will fertilize you. Amen. And the Lord will multiply our people. Amen. And will fulfill his covenant with us. Amen. Verse 10, very important. He says, I, verse 10 says, you will have such a surplus. Don't worry. Leave it in that place. He said, and you shall eat all store and bring forth the whole because of the new. Here he says, you will have such a surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old grain. Hey. To make room for the new harvest. It's your season of harvest. I say it's your season of harvest. Harvest in your office. Harvest in your career. Harvest in your ministry. Harvest in my office. Harvest in my career. Harvest in my ministry. Harvest in your marriage. Harvest in your school. Harvest in your brain. Even as some students are going to write exam, there's going to be harvest of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is here. In two days from now, Two days from now, two days from now, the Lord is sending a man your way. And the Lord said to me, that is your husband. That means a single lady. The Lord said to me, 
That man does not look like the type of man you want. Take note and write it down. Many years ago, I met with a particular sister in a prophetic gathering. I was invited to that place. And the Lord said, the man you are going to marry will have body odor. And that sister started perceiving body odor. And I said to her, that that is your husband. She cried. Because the Lord said, that is what you hate. You hate people with body odor. But God said, the body odor is to distract other ladies, not to have him. But immediately you come together, you say, yes, I will marry you. The body odor will disappear. So the Lord said to me, that man might not look like the man, the nature of man you wanted. But the Lord is saying, that is your husband. Please reach out to me and let me encourage you and advise you. When you ask every man that genuinely married together, many, like 85% didn't marry to their choice. It was after they married that they see that this is my best choice. A particular daughter of mine said something. When a man came to her life at 49, she said, that man can never be my husband. I said, that is your husband. The Lord have told you before now that you should prepare. And just last year, she reached out to me on LED and said, Pastor Leke, I said, God bless you, daughter. He said, I wish I've met this man before now. I can never marry a best man like him. I'm speaking to you now. Your vision and focus for marriage will not be blocked. In the name of Jesus. Can't just give God praise. Let's appreciate God for the conclusion of today's vision. Let's give him praise. Let's love him. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I ask upon your people arise. Let there be your goodness, your mercies, your right, your favor, your increase, your supernatural power flow into our lives. As you go, Lord, go with us. Till we meet again next week, Friday, with another topic, with another fine. Lord, I ask you to secure your horse. Now, everyone that your life is locked down, I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will lose the boat. Your marriage is locked down. Nothing is happening in your marriage anymore. There is no longer interest. You are saying you want to pack out. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will settle that marriage. Even in Nigeria, in Lagos State, that the lockdown ban is going to be removed or being relieved a little. I pray in the name of Jesus, the little time you have to spend in the days that is released. I pray in the name of Jesus, it will favor you. Oh my God, it will favor your family. Oh my God, it will favor your destiny. In the name of Jesus, because the amount of recovery, everything you have lost to ignorance, recover them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, glory. I want you to know that God is going to attend to you through your dreams. Write down your dreams and tell God, show me the secret I need. And tell God, I want to be the next testifier. A testifier. The Lord will make you to testify and his goodness will rest upon you. I want to thank God for your life for being part of this video tonight. I want you to also share this link even if as the video has come to a close tonight. Tell them of next week and let them watch this. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want you to please go to our YouTube link and also subscribe to it. Anytime you see uh, any of our YouTube, when you click on it, all you need to do when you get there, subscribe if you have not subscribed to this. It's Tres Recon Television. Okay? The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus. I love you with the love of God. I see the glory of the Lord upon you. I'm wishing you a happy weekend. So the glory of God tomorrow on Sunday. Today is Saturday already. Tomorrow is Sunday. It's going to be awesome. It is our Thanksgiving service and our Holy Communion service being the first Sunday uh, this month of May. The Lord will honor you. The Lord will see you through in the name of Jesus. And if God is saying you, is touching your heart to bless him to the glory of God, you can also bless the Lord by giving your offering unto him with the link that is going to be displayed. You can also sow a seed of greatness, seed of multiplication. 
seed of God to arise on your matter. And before you know it, the Lord will do this for you in Jesus' name. Pandemic. And before you know it, the sin of lockdown in Lagos State. And before you know, God just remember. So don't say that nothing is coming forth you cannot give to God. That is not the philosophy unto the Lord. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we are reaching out to people. Even in our church, by the grace of God, this coming week, we are reaching out to a lot of people to give them full stops. And if God is also blessing you to reach out to them, please the Lord Almighty will bless you in the name of Jesus. You can send that money to GTB account you are seeing in that place. We are going to be reaching out to a lot of people. And I know the Lord will bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. I love you with the love of God. I see you on top. I see the glory of the Lord upon your life. Can we share grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Say, I've said the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Say amen. Can we shout very hard, greater hallelujah? Shout another hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I love you with the love of God. I see you on top. Keep on reconciling. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory be to the name of the Lord.